Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Wines of Alsace Pinot Noir tasting. Uh, coming to you today from Adelaide in South Australia. Today, what we've got is a range of Pinot Noir. Uh, these are all brand new releases from what is probably one of the most underrated regions of France, um, the Alsace region. Um, we all know it's famous for its Riesling, uh, Guetz Tramina, Cremont, etc. But very few people understand that it makes sensational and good value Pinot Noir. Another uh, Jean Gallier, uh, the Pinot Noir Reserve Particulier, uh, AOC Alsace. And this, again, this is the 2020, 12.7% uh, alcohol, deep red, um, full body looking wine. And the colour is pretty, completely different. Wow, that's different. <laughs> Got quite a lot of tannin. Mm. The tannin's a little bit too much to, to really kind of make it enjoyable now, but. You can tell it's got some nice savoury character as well. The fruit is definitely not strawberry and cherry, it's no. more in the deeper, darker mm. fruits, you know, black currant kind of a character going through. Uh, quite ripe. Yeah. And, and mm. ripe, yeah. Ripe. Again, it, it's a wine that appealed to most Australian palates. Uh, straight but, out of the bottle now. Yeah. And again, yeah. it's a wine that really had aged well. And, I think this one's had even a little bit more wood treatment than the last one. Mm, right. I thought this was quite full body, the first one, but this one here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just the tannies, it's like a more... We're almost setting towards a Rhone style wine. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Well, interesting, same price. Well, I like um, it personally, yeah. but mm. um, it's different. Mm. You can taste it this second, this, this one is the tannies, like more firm tannies. Mm. With yes. the other one was like a more silk tannies, like mm. a different yeah, silky, texture. Yeah. And we're taking tannins here, so this one, the tannins is much more firm. Much tannins. not aggressive, but, but certainly firm. Yeah, nice like more firm tannins, and like I said, I can get that. And then even like a little mushrooms as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Peter Musket, what do you think of that one? Yeah, it's got a really nice fruit nose. Mm. Uh, yeah. But yeah, the tannins are really dry and gripping. Mm. So, a bit too much for this morning. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, it'd, be, it'd be great with some food though, if you'd like, at mm. lunchtime. Some Maybe food. revisit that in an hour. I think, yeah. I think mm. with lunch it's going to be But you can nice. see that's a great wine in the making. It is yeah. a great wine. Yeah. It's just uh, a bit early in the morning. It's still a baby. Yeah. Yeah, it's still a baby. Yeah. It's still coming yeah, out. I yeah. would love to see how this wine progresses, but I can tell you the, the tannin structure and the acidity would do very nicely with some fatty steak. Mm. Yeah. Just yes. cut through it. Yeah. And it would become a, a completely yeah. different wine. Mm. Yeah. Good with so gaming, yes. like yeah. yeah. it's yeah. got the savoury elements underneath the fruit yeah. that was complement. So a retailer or importer could confidently bring that in and have it sit there for a year or two and release it easily year by year. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. Tack, good taste. Yeah. Yeah. Great yeah. steakhouse. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And Barbecue. for the price. <laughs> yeah. So in a year or two, it'd make a great breakfast wine. Yeah. <laughs> Very much so. I'm starting yes. to enjoy it once more now. It's very long. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the length and the structure for that for that price, yeah. it's very it's impressive. It's ridiculous, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. It's, very it's very still much. tasty on the palate. It's mm. incredible. Yeah. Our friends in Burgundy should be worried yeah. you know, that, that Alsace can produce Pinot that good at that mm. price point. Yeah.